Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medic Electrical Plugin. Um, today I wanted to just demonstrate a few items that have been recently added to this uh, plugin or extension. And as you can see in this model here, I've just created a whole pile of um, electrical devices on the walls and on the ceiling, uh, just so I can kind of quickly demonstrate a few things without spending too much time uh, actually placing all these uh, items. So. First of all, let's just review quickly what we can, uh, what we have access to now, or what uh, electrical devices there are. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, we've got plenty of outlets and switches. We've got uh, vanity lights, panels. Um, let's go over here now. Uh, we've got heaters, ceiling mount, and what I call well, garage or shop heaters. We've got wall mount cadet heaters some uh, fans, overhead fans, of course a bunch of safety devices like these uh, horn strobe units, ceiling mounted. We also now have uh, some exhaust fans or vents I call them, um, <coughs> as well as uh, can lights and now we also have um, fluorescent uh, recessed surface and suspended fluorescent lights. So we got a uh, fairly good selection of components available um, that can be used. Um, and of course, with many of these, you can add your own uh, components. And then you just have to put them in the proper uh, subfolder of the library. And then you can just utilize them. So, so what I wanted to show today actually was just um, <coughs> uh, the first thing that we did or added here recently was this uh, legend tool. So this is right here, this icon down here which says draw legend. And so, you know, first of all you get your all your stuff drawn or put in there and then all you have to do really is just click this button and let it do its magic. And so there you go, there's your and as you can see this uh, particular model has a lot of symbols. <coughs> so now what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to take the native tool, move tool here and just go ahead and and, and by the way, it draws on the zero zero. It doesn't have to stay on the zero zero. So I'm actually moving it. I'm going to move it up a little bit, off of zero zero. I'm going to move it uh, here a little bit, and then put it over here. And you know, you can rotate it <coughs> if you like as well. So I'm just going to show you right here. Well, we just added this welder outlet option here, and you can see that that guy is right there with a W. And that's a NEMA 650R. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you the parametric ability now. So now, we've, as you know, we've moved this um, legend you know, up and around. And so now it's been repositioned. And so now we're going to see if it maintains that position. So I'm just going to put a little line here just so we can track it. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually delete this here device, this welding device. Okay, and <coughs> so now what should happen is uh, when we rebuild this, this welder outlet, we've only got one in there, this what this item in the in the symbols list should go away. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And to rebuild it, all you have to do, or regen it, all you have to do is click this again. And there it is. And as you can see, we no longer have the welder outlet. So, and another thing you can also note is that the positioning of this group is still exactly where we put it. And that's what we want. We want it to be able to, to set it and retain the position of the uh, group. Now, if you go and rename this group, so you can see that it has a specific instance name called electrical legend underscore medic. If you were to rename that name, um, that then the plugin would no longer recognize that as the uh, already constructed uh, legend, and so it will ignore it and essentially create another one. So if you want to do something like that, uh, yeah, you have that ability. So you could, you know, and you can obviously take and break this apart and explode it, and or even get in here in the group itself and you know move each of these items around or a group of them. So, you know, there's nothing saying you can't uh, break it apart and do what you want with it. Um, <coughs> so similar to this, we also have situ the same sort of situation going on here with 
with the uh, elect electrical symbols for the ceiling um, fixtures. So with wall fixtures it always places the symbol at the bottom of the wall. Okay, either at the bottom of the face or the bottom of the Medique wall or the framer wall. Um, <clears throat> now with ceilings it de actually defaults right now to 12 inches above 00. zero. Um, so like for instance this it, all the symbols for this particular uh, group or ceiling I call it are grouped into one single group and you'll notice it also has electrical symbols level one okay so you can take and move um, move this up and down uh, I don't recommend moving it this way because then you'll uh, you know mess up the alignment with your symbols with what's above there but if, if you move this vertically in the z-axis it's not going to hurt anything and you can set that wherever you like so I'm going to for instance I'm going to move this up to 24 inches and I'm just going to jump out of that group okay so you can see now the symbols are you know quite a bit off the off the floor and that's perfectly fine and so now I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and create a, a ceiling light here something fairly simple let's go ahead and do a surface mount yeah, sure that'll work and I'm going to put it right here okay so now as you know yeah it, it retains that vertical positioning of this symbols group okay and and the and this symbols group is with placed within this overall uh, ceiling group okay so then the next question people have asked me is <clears throat> you know what happens if I move one of these light fixtures and, and you can and you can do that. There's no problem with that at all. In fact, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to delete a couple of these out here so we have a little room to work with here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these two. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I am going to um, I'm going to actually physically move this just with the native tools. Okay, so I'm going to move it over here. Well, I don't know, some amount doesn't really matter. Now as you can see the symbol did not follow it because it's it's not in the same group as the light uh, whereas with these if you move these on the wall they're they're part of the same group and so they will follow you know if you move the fixture like this which is perfectly fine with the native tools it will follow the, the symbol will follow the fixture now <clears throat> with ceiling fixtures it's a little different because of the way I have it set up however the that that problem is easily dealt with. Um, basically all you have to do is you just go in here and click this edit electrical button, select your item and hit update. Okay, and you'll notice it redrew the symbol below the fixture in the right spot, so it realigned it. Okay, so that's basically what you need to do with ceiling fixtures. If you do decide to move them manually, um, well, of course, there really only is one way to move things with the with this plugin right now is manually with the native tools. So if you do move a ceiling fixture in the X Y plane or or however, then you just need to regen it by uh, editing it and hitting update, and it will update the symbol as well. Okay, and uh, the other thing I want to show you also with uh, light fixtures, and this is also goes the same with. Uh, like for instance this heater, the ceiling mounted heater here. <coughs> um, <coughs> so you're you're actually able to rotate these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it and, and you can rotate the box, of course there is no box associated with this light fixture, but you can also rotate the fixture in 45 degree inf increments. So we're going to head and rotate that 45 degrees and you note that not only did the ceiling fixture rotate but the symbol is well rotated. Now that's not always the case um, with with fluorescent lights. Uh, yeah, I'm going to rotate this because I'm I'm actually showing the outline of the fixture itself. However, with um, with certain fixtures like this ceiling fixture, which is a fan, y you can rotate it, um, but I'm not going to. The the plugin does not rotate this uh, symbol because it doesn't. You know, there's really not a reason or uh, a reason to. So. That's uh, one thing about that, and then also with this, um, let's let's take a look here. At this, uh, uh, let's see. Um, I don't know what we're going to do here. Let's 
Let's see if we should edit this uh, heater here. Okay, so yeah, heaters. We can also rotate those. And let's do that. Uh, the thing about the heaters, though, is I have not made it so rotate the the um, symbol, and I don't know. I'm I'm kind of thinking about that still. I may have it rotate it, but uh, for now, a heater. I figure it's just a heater. It's just you just represent that with a box, and, and it will it will draw you know per the size specified in the in the library. But it's I don't think it's as critical to have it rotated. Whereas uh, when you have you know one of these light fixtures here, of course you want to show that that's a certain orientation. So anyways, um, just a few little details, I guess, and little gotchas with this plugin and how it works. Um, again, uh, any sort of wall-mounted uh, fixture, you can move it, uh, you know, horizontally in the wall, and not a problem. That's, in fact, what the intent is to be able to do that, and then, <coughs> and then it should maintain uh, you know the symbol along with it. Now, if you want to move it up and down, you're giving a height parameter, and I recommend using the height parameter. Um, for instance, if you go like that. You know, it drops it down. If you go in here and actually physically move this up a um, certain amount of inches, then it's going. It's this height pra fixture height parameter will still uh, be there, but it will not accurately show. Uh, what your height is. So rather than uh, messing with the vertical height, I recommend just using, uh, just manually moving these horizontally in the wall if if you need to move it. Uh, another feature that's been recently added, of course, yeah, I'm going to stretch this up a little more here, <coughs> is we have now a height callout. So I'm going to go ahead and update that, and now you can see that along right here we have 66 inches showing for the the height of that light fixture and that uh, has been enabled for outlets as well as um, lights and switches um, yeah there's just a, there's quite a few things that I've added recently but primarily I just want to show about the legend and how you can uh, you know move that out and, and it will re retain its position the other thing to note with legend is, you know, you have a whole ton of symbols that are being generated and, and fixtures, and essentially what's happening is, is the plugin will go and look at all these groups and look at all the electrical devices, and then make sure that each one that's here in the model is listed, but it's only listed once, so there's no duplicates. So if you check all these, you'll see that there are no duplicate listings, and that is uh, by intent. Um, if you have any questions or uh, feature requests or you know just comments in general regarding this plugin, ways to make it better or improve its performance, uh, by all means give me a shout. Um, I am uh, constantly working on this plugin now and also on the other four plugins that are in in development. So um, yeah, I appreciate your support and thank you very much.